Oh, we'll whip it. Yeah. We don't say no much. Yeah. We don't say no much. Dude, whip it's kick ass. Yeah. They don't come around that much. We yeah. Danny used to be able to get him until we had a the last time you got Dude, him, I had our a buddy fr- like almost died. He didn't almost die. He almost we were, died. We were literally, <laughs> so I had a friend of mine who would like uh, his friend would literally get them. I get them from the maternity ward in Toronto at a hospital. Like and they were like actual like whatever nitrous. And then we were four of us were like sitting around like this and we were just like doing them in our <laughs> office. We had an old office and our our boys wearing glasses and there was like a chair just like this and it was like broken like with this one piece screw is missing and he was just this and he fucking just, we hear just like thud Ooh. and he's on his face on the ground because no. like, he leaned back the chair just like gave out and then like his glasses smashed and it just like no just and he's all on like, whippets dude, we're, yeah, well, we were, and this happened thing, while he was fucking we all just were, so it's it. like you know you're literally in like a different dimension for sure but it's only 45 seconds, yeah. and then you come back, and he's just like, his face is bleeding, and we're like, well, this isn't fun. Yeah. And we got to all go to the fucking hospital now and get him stitched up. <laughs> did y'all take him to the hospital and get him stitched yeah, up? Yeah, we just walked over there. <laughs> like, we were to the hospital. We just, like, walked over to the hospital and, like, got his face stitched up. And the funniest thing, too, is this dude. And we, this we happened always, in Canada? This is in Toronto, yeah. But this, so this is our boy, and when we met, he's a comedian, this guy Kevin. He was, like, he was always straight edge, like, when we met him forever, he's straight edge. And I always was like, dude, you got to try psychedelics. Like, right. Just one time, right? Just and he's like, dude, I'm never ever doing them. He's like, come on, man, just one time. I get him to do mushrooms, and then we go to this festival. We're watching Neil Young, and uh, that's he, dope. It was amazing. <laughs> it, well, yeah, it was. It was sick. He did a three hour set to close oh, out this this <laughs> festival. It yeah, was incredible, and he was like. Every, All the Monsanto albums. No, the funny thing is, so he played two sets. First, first, <laughs> no, no, legit. First set, every hit you can imagine. It was insane. And wow. like, he does them like perfect, you know, like exactly. And then the second set, he had this new album, like about how he hates Monsanto. Oh, wow. And it was, everybody was like, what? Like, <laughs> he just does the whole album? He does the whole thing because he really hates Monsanto. <laughs> well, <laughs> respect. And, and his backup band is uh, Willie Nelson's Kids. Like, it was great. What? Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, the uh, Promise of the Real, I think. Yep, yep. Or whatever, and uh, but anyway, so we get my boy. So my boy does ass, and he's like, life changed. Literally went from working at a bank, and he owned a house, and then like I don't know, six months later, he was like living in a van. Like, but he was like, <laughs> but he went full shaman, and he's like, yes. everybody's like, yo, you fucked him up so bad. But if you talk to him, he's like, dude, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, yeah. But then now he's back to like, awesome you, now he's back to like, you ruined life. my life. Oh no, yeah, exactly. yeah. He's, he's gonna be like, yeah, you kind of ruined my Is life. Is he but. back straight edge? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no. Yeah, okay. I was like, what a fucking plot twist. <laughs> you must have. I have bought some dudes that took it too far that it didn't end up good in the music industry. Oh yeah, yeah. No, we have a lot of dudes that. It also works a little better on the up when yeah. the, when the, when it starts to be like you're drinking too, too much and partying too much and the career's on the down a little bit. That's when it starts to you know for yeah. some people not handle it properly. You know the crazy part is is that I think the worst the scariest thing is that when it goes from party drugs to pills. Yeah. Okay. And I th- feel like that's always the turning point that you see happen to artists. Yeah. Right. Even Elvis, when you watch the documentary, right? Like, young, energetic. They, they didn't say he, they said he didn't do drugs. We all know it's a fucking lie. Party <laughs> drugs, party drugs, party drugs, party drugs. Give me some pain pills. Yeah. And they're just, you know what I mean? It's like, if that's the moment you always see it start going to shit. Yeah. That's whenever I intervene, though. That's whenever I start talking to artists. Like, because artists are real, like, my, they're my friends. They know I'm kind of loose and liberal with my views. Yeah. But the moment they start calling, like, man, you know somebody with some Percocet jelly? That's the moment I always go, uh, let me holler at you, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Fuck, you need a Percocet. Somebody saw your arm off? <laughs> what the fuck a Percocet is <laughs> for? My see- dentist won't give me a Percocet if he pulled a wisdom tooth. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you that you need a Percocet? Sure. Oh, my back hurts. Is it fucking broke? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, There's one of these, it just makes you like so numb to everything. I don't yeah. know. I guess it's what they want. But I was like, like just <laughs> be an alcoholic like everybody else. Exactly. Yeah, Jesus, totally, man. Here's an ibuprofen 800 and some ENJ. 